Hi, it's Allison from Mahalo.com, and today we're going to look at factoring a quadratic expression. This is a quadratic expression here. And so the way you factor it, the first thing you should do is look at the signs. The signs in your quadratic expression will give you a good clue what you should end up with. When we factor, we're going to end up with two parts of the expression. We need an x in front of both of them so that when we multiply together, we get our x squared. Now, anytime you have a plus sign here, it means that the signs here and here have to be the same, so that when you multiply them together, you get a positive. Since this is a negative sign, though, it means that we're going to be multiplying two negatives together. So, what we need two numbers that multiply together to be 12 and add together to be negative 7. So, the factors of 12 are 1 and 12, 2 and 6, and 3 and 4. 3 and 4, when added together, equals 7. And if we add a negative 3 and a negative 4, we'll get our negative 7. So what we end up with here is x minus 3 times x minus 4. Now let me show you why this works. We'll use the FOIL method to multiply this back out and make sure that our expression looks the same. So x times x is x squared. Now we have an x times a minus 4. That gives us minus 4x. Now here we have minus 3 times x, that's minus 3x. And here we have a minus 3 times a minus 4, and that's plus 12. Now if we simplify this, we get x squared minus 4x minus 3x is minus 7x, and then we have our plus 12, which is exactly the expression we started with. So this is the correct factorization of this quadratic expression. Now, if you're having trouble with this or you don't much like factoring, you can also use the quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations. You set this equal to zero and then plug those values into the quadratic formula. If you're not sure how to do that, follow our series of lessons on the quadratic formula. And that's one way to factor a quadratic expression. Thanks for learning with me today. If you have any questions on this topic or anything having to do with math, please click on the links or send us a request to requests at mahalo.com. See you later.